Hey guys, what's up? It's TB Cubing. In this video, I will be showing you how to solve a 4x4 Rubik's Revenge. So, let's get started. So, first of all, I will tell you all uh, about the layers of this 4x4. This is the U. Um, this is the top layer. Up top layer, we call it U. U and U prime. Okay, this is F. Sorry, yeah, F F prime. So to solve the four by four, you need to know how to solve the three by three. It's not compulsory, but if you know how to solve the three by three, it'll be easy for you to solve the four by four. So, like the three by three, it has a left layer and a right layer. But unlike that, it has two middle layers. We call this as the small r and small l. It is the small u, small d, small f, small b. So now I will scramble it up and show you how to solve this. So we will solve the 4 by 4 by first solving the centers. We will make a center containing four pieces in all the sides. But remember, for solving the four by four, you need to remember the color scheme, or you get you may get mixed up. You may take a three by three for solving it for the first time, and check what the color scheme is. So okay, let's start with the white center piece. Here is one center piece. We have to bring another which will be here. So we already have another white piece here. So if we bring it down, it will not match up. So we will bring this to the top layer and bring this down. Yeah, like that. Now we will solve this block also. Here is one such piece. We will bring it down here by moving it to this layer. And then bringing it down so you will have an arrow like that and we are left with another piece that's here when you have an arrow and another piece left you have to do this move you have to bring the center piece on the top right corner and make this arrow face that side uh, you can do it in any ways like you can do like that also but the direction in which the cross is uh, sorry the arrow is facing that side the center should also be so we bring it to the top layer then match it up then rotate it and bring it down we will have the white layer solved not a white layer white center sorry now we will solve the blue two pieces are already solved now we need another one sorry another two so first we will move it this side so it's vertical now here's another piece um, we just can simply do this because it will break our white center so what we are going to do is move it to this layer bring this up bring this to this layer and bring this one down white will not be destroyed and the blue will be in correct position and to solve the last center we need to do the same move the blue center is here since it's opposite to this layer we will have to do that twice so i will bring that here because the arrow is facing this side then i have to do it two times then move this and do that two times okay now we will solve the red by seeing the three by three you can easily understand that red is to the left of blue so here will be the red face already one red is here so we will bring another we have to bring this one here so we will first take this layer into the top bring this to here and bring this layer down 
the blue will be in correct place and the and two reds will be solved so you solve the last two we already have a block down here so when you have a block down here already you just rotate that so that these two colors are in a line and then move the other layer up do a U2 move and bring this one down so we already know that opposite of blue is green so here is sorry here will be the green so we will bring that here so move this up match this move it down the same case as the red a block is already done and for the last layer for the last two centers you just need to solve one center and another center will be automatically solved so here we have a block but we don't have a block here so we will just move it up bring this to this layer and move it down and we will do the same thing bring it here as I is facing this side and then move it up match this move it out of the way and bring it down and we will have all the centers solved the next step is to solve the edges we have to pair the edges so to solve the edges we have to bring two edges in one face so first we will solve this orange and yellow edge you can start with any other edge you want so we will find another here it is another orange edge piece so bring it to the same face if you have this in the same line then do this move R2 a B U R prime you will have this then you will have these two pieces in two different layers and then do this move not move it's just understanding it bring this piece here it will match up then bring this to the top layer uh, so here we have a broken pair we will insert this in this place and bring it down then we will move this layer that side so now we will solve another edge piece uh, now we will solve the red and green edge piece so let's find another red green so the green red piece is here we will bring to into the same face uh, they are already opposite so we will do the same thing we will bring this here uh, find a broken pair yeah this pair is broken and we have another broken pair here so we will insert this here bring it down and move it this way so now we will solve this green and yellow uh, the other piece is here so we have to flip this so we will do the same move r2 b e sorry u and an r prime now they will be flipped now we need to do the same move but as these are in the opposite direction we will move this one and we will insert in top layer insert this pair here and bring it down now we will slide it to the correct position next we are going to solve the white green and the uh, sorry the white green edge piece so we will find another white green edge piece uh, which is right here so we will move it to the same face we see that they are in the same line so we will do that same move and they are opposite to each other now match it up now we will bring it to the top layer here is a broken edge we will place it here and bring it down and do that now next we will solve the blue and orange here is another match it up move it to the top layer bring a broken piece here move it down and do the same thing right there next we will solve this one 
um, you, you can see that the other piece is here if we bring it down it will be like that only so before bringing it down we can just flip it like that and now we will move this one now if we move this to top layer we will have no broken pieces so he here is the broken piece so we will move it out of the way move it to top layer move it here bring it down rotate it now we will solve this blue and red here's another blue and red now we will again match this up so now we see that there are no broken no sorry there's one broken edge yeah now we will solve this edge which is the red and yellow the another red and yellow is here so again we will match these two up here's another broken edge bring it here bring it down now i think we have most of them just matched up yeah we just left with this one the orange white is here and here it is we have the two last edges here we don't have any other edges so if you have this thing these two are in the same line they're in the same line then you have to do this move double G R Q R prime F R prime F prime R uh, double D prime and you will, it will be solved and the other situation you will face is this one these are flipped you can do that same algorithm for flipping this now do the same move double D R um, F Sorry. Yeah. Um, another situation which you may face while solving the last three edges is this one. Wait, let me bring the situation. And you have another one not solved. Yeah you have three not solved like that you have two edges here and so first we will flip this over and uh, we have three edges not solved here first we will flip this over here so yeah it's fil flipped up now uh, there are only three left so here you will see that there are no broken pieces uh, here one broken edge is there which is really uncommon so what you generally have is all the broken pairs in the same line so when you have that bring one broken letter to top layer and do the same thing match it up move it to top layer move the broken layer here bring it down just like that now we will solve the 4 by 4 just like a 3 by 3 here are the edges this is the center and we have the corners here so first we will make a cross the blue will be here the blue is here the orange is already in place bring the red down to here move the green match it up with this center bring it down move it to its correct position now move in the corners the orange green and white it should be here so it will bring it here and do the same move like the three by three move it up match it up and move it down now we'll do this one red green and white uh, here are the corner pieces do the same move yeah it's down 
we'll match this. Yeah, it's match. And we'll just leave it one corner. Here it is. Yeah. Now we will proceed for the second layer. Uh, I suggest you to watch my 3 by 3 video for that because I will not be teaching you all the algorithms here. So I will just be solving it um, without giving you the algorithms here. The algorithm you, you need you will need here is in the third layer. Yeah, it's all the first layer. Um, so we are already done the cross or you may face here this one you can just solve it by watching my 3 by 3 tutorial uh, so if you get some parity where you have three of the edges in correct position the edges flip leave that just solve the cube we'll see about that in last so first we have to match the, cube, match the corners the corners are, uh, sorry the edges the edges are matched now we will solve the corners one corner is solved now we will just execute the algorithm so here's the first problem you will face these two are flipped so when you have that do this move small or two u2 small r2 double u2 small r2 a double u2 now the cross will be broken which can be again made by the um, algorithm for the cross if yeah, the cross is made now we have this corner with the right position we will execute the algorithm and it's just soft we didn't need to uh, do anything you will see that these two are also flipped uh, and whatever is talking about the parity is this one uh, I will be showing you the algorithm don't worry yeah you have this edge flipped if you have this don't worry about that from before you have to solve this at last so the algorithm to solve this is a long one so you better take a paper and write it down the algorithm to solve the pair is a big one so you better get ready with a pen and paper the algorithm is the second right layer twice the back layer twice the up layer twice the second left layer up twice the second right layer up twice the second right layer up up twice front twice the second right layer up front twice Second layer, uh, sorry, so the second left layer up, back twice, the second right layer, two times, and the parity will be solved. And this is the tutorial for the 4x4 Rubik's Cube. So, if you like this video, please drop a like. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And there's a challenge for you guys. Can you solve the 4x4 under 1 minute 30 seconds? If you can, comment down below. And don't forget to check out this nice channel. Thank you guys for watching.